There's a $10 billion Bitcoin bet on stable coins that's about to play out. Pay attention because this is going to be a big, big deal. Now, algorithmic stable coins, these have been a fascination of people across technology, finance, and academia for a long time. The idea is that you can actually keep stable value in a crypto token without having to back it with dollars or any other type of asset. You can simply peg the token to one dollar of value. But there's all kinds of complexity and challenges that come with it. You have algorithms and you have all sorts of technology that's trying to arbitrage the value to a dollar. But no one has figured out how to do this sustainably in up and down markets. And so ultimately, Terra, which is creating a public blockchain that has decentralized stablecoins on it, they're realizing that their algorithmic stablecoin might not best be suited for the future. Now what they are going to attempt to do is transition their algorithmic stablecoin, UST, to a Bitcoin-backed stablecoin. That's right. Algorithmic stablecoin now to a Bitcoin-backed stablecoin. Here's how they're going to do it. UST is their decentralized stablecoin that is pegged to $1. And of course, there's another token called Luna in the Tarot ecosystem. That Luna token is used to actually arbitrage or absorb the volatility that brings the individual stablecoin back to $1. It's also used for staking and mining in the ecosystem. Now, here's exactly what's going to occur. The Luna Foundation has $3 billion in their reserves. That's across Bitcoin. Tether, and Luna. They are slowly converting that $3 billion into Bitcoin. That's partially how they're going to start to back UST with Bitcoin. But also, when they issue brand new UST, historically what they've done is they've actually burned $1 of Luna for every $1 of UST that is created. In the future, they may only burn 60% of that $1 of Luna. The other 40% of the $1 will go to buy Bitcoin. An example of this would be if I want $10 of UST, Rather than burning $10 of Luna, now what I'm likely to do is I'm going to burn $6 of Luna and $4 of Luna will be used to buy Bitcoin. Ultimately, the goal from the Terra team is to take $10 billion and buy Bitcoin, become a persistent buyer in the market. If the team successfully does this, they will show the playbook for central banks and stable coins on how to back other assets with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is decentralized, hard money. It is the most pristine collateral in the world. If Terra successfully backs their stablecoin with Bitcoin, this will be the standard. Every asset in the world is ultimately going to need collateral. And if Bitcoin is the pristine collateral, if it's the superior form of value, ultimately, every single asset that is being created in the digital world, they're going to back it with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the future. And what we're watching here is Terra a 15 plus billion dollar stablecoin issuer, somebody who has the fourth largest stablecoin in the world, they're realizing their algorithmic approach may not be ideal. It's simply better and easier to just back their stablecoin with $10 billion worth of Bitcoin. Hey you, did you like this video? Great, we make five of them a day and post them here on this channel. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and see you next time.